good? Everything good? What's going on my YouTube family? I am your man up and coming and welcome back to another drop. If this is your first time tuning in, you want to join me on this journey as I build my sneaker collection, do me a huge favor, hit that subscribe button, subscribe to the channel, subscribe to the content, stay locked in and plugged into me. Hey, I appreciate all the love and support I've been getting, man. I've been getting a lot of positive feedback from the journey. The journey has been fun. Today is June 17. Today is the release of the Hair 7, though. Today is the release of the Hair 6s. So, and as you all know, the Hair 6s got pushed back multiple times. So, um, I ended up entering on a raffle at Hippie Sports. Ended up entering in a raffle at Champs. I actually hit on both of them, but I only won one pair. And I didn't confirm on a pair at Champs in time. So, they ended up canceling my reservation. But it's all good. So, it's all good. Your boy got the pair from Hibbit Sports. And I hope everybody's been getting W's today. I know I was scrolling through Twitter this morning, man. Everybody was getting W so far. So, that's a good thing. All right, so without further ado, let's get to it. Alright fam, so we just arrived at the Hibbit Sports. I know a lot of the Hibbit Sports have been closed down, but uh, this one is still open. So this is one that I actually ended up hitting on the raffle from. And I had to drive a nice little distance from my house to get to it, but it's all worth it. It's all good, huh? Let's see what Hibbit Sports got. As you can see, this is the Jordan section. <laughs> see, they got the uh, the camo mid Jordan ones up there. They got the low Jordan ones. I guess it's like a turquoise color on the swoosh. <sighs> they really ain't got nothing for real, man. They ain't got no no heat. See, they got the triple red triple red Air Force ones. More Air Force Ones. They got the Air Max 2090s. Those are cool. They got the Vapor Max Pluses. The one with the gold bottom. I actually kind of like these, man. These are these are kind of dope. I'm digging them. They got some more of the the Vapor Max Plus, the Fly Nits. The Vapor Max is actually, man, these are some good, comfortable running shoes. Oh, shit. <sighs> Put you back. And, of course, they got that, uh, the USA theme ones. I guess a lot of people may be buying these for, like, the 4th of July. Uh, these came out in the Vapor Max. I want to say the Air Max 90s, Air Max 270s. And I think another silhouette they introduced. They got the Air Max 97s in like that triple yellow color, like that mustard yellow. So this is the, uh, the Air Max 90 in the USA colorway. It's not bad. And y'all know I'm a huge fan of the Air Max 90s. That's about it. They ain't really got much. I know lately, man, I've been looking at a lot of Adidas, like the NMDs. I think I may end up picking up a pair. Not these, but I may end up getting me a pair of NMDs. I know my girl like them. She kind of talked me into them. And this right, this is the 270 in like that USA colorway for like the 4th of July. So it's nice. shirts i do need to get some shirts man i've been buying a lot of shoes and i ain't really got no shirts for real except white t-shirts to go with it 
Alright fam, so as you can see man, it was successful. I ended up getting the hairs. So I'm gonna get to the crib, man, crack open this box and we're gonna see what they looking like, alright? Let's get it. Hi right, YouTube fam, so I am back at the crib now. I got the Hair Sixes in hand. And uh, so the Hibbit Sports store I went to, man, I've never been to that Hibbit Sports location. It, it was probably a 25 minute drive from my house over in Granite City, Illinois. So it was cool. I mean, it was a smaller location. They really didn't have too many heat, as you can see. I was looking around the store. Uh, didn't get a chance to get any shirts like I wanted to. They just didn't have too many things, man. These shelves were kind of bare. So let's get to it. So as you can see, of course, Got that Hibbit Sports bag. Oh, let's see what we got. And boom, as you can see, that infamous carrot, the hair sixes. Moving on to the product label. And we got the Air Jordan 6 Retro in the neutral gray, black, and white. Now, a little bit about the hair is, of course, the history of the hair. The hair originally released in the Air Jordan 7 silhouette. And this year, they decided to take that same color block and color pattern and put it on the 6s. I'm a huge fan of the 6s. The 7s, I'm not really a fan of. So when I saw that they was putting this on the 6s, I was like, okay, I may have to get those. So, of course, you got the Jordan Air Jordan on the side of the box. And boom, got my Hibbit Sports receipt. And of course you got that same multicolor pattern tissue paper from the Harris Sevens that they put in there. Let me go open these bad babies up. Woo, woo, these things are clean. I like it. Alright fam, so you're looking at the 2020 release of the Air Jordan 6 in the hair colorway. Again, so these shoes were originally set to release, I believe, like back in April of this year. And somehow, or some way, I don't know why, the reason, Nike pushed it back. Then they got another release day for like June the 5th, and they ended up pushing them back again. They didn't release in the US, so they ended up releasing them this morning, June the 17th. And as you can see, I was able to secure a pair. And I'm, again, I'm going to say this. I'm so glad the local stores open back up, man, because buying online is L City. I'm tired of taking L's, but local stores are open. You know, I got the opportunities to enter into the local raffles. So it ups my chances of being able to cop a pair. All right. Man, these joints are clean, man. I, I, I like I like it overall. It's a clean shoe. So let's get to it. All right. So, of course... You got the hair sixes, lateral side of the shoe, you got that white leather. And it's wrapped in like that neutral, has like that neutral gray color underneath the leather. But like the, the side panel of the shoe has like those air vents. You know, these are basketball shoes. So you have to play basketball, your feet sweat. You want to be able to have like that air circulation in your feet. You got the midsole. The midsole is going to consist of that white color. You're going to have like, I guess that, that true red color. You're gonna have your exposed air unit on the midsole of the shoe. 
the heel of the shoe, you're gonna have the Jumpman emblem in the air in like that purple color. Moving on to the medial side of the shoe. Medial side of the shoe, of course, you're gonna have the same leather wrapped around the upper. You're gonna have like those foot vents in like that neutral gray color. And this is almost like a, I don't wanna say suede, but it's like a really soft material. If it is suede, that's what it is. But it's real soft. And of course you got the toe box. The toe box is going to be that neutral gray color um, where the laces start, the tongue. The tongue is gonna be that mesh, true red material, true red color. Uh, it's gonna come with only one set of shoelaces, the white shoelaces. Uh, you're gonna have your black Jumpman emblem on the tongue. And it's gonna come with a yellow and green lace lock. I like that, the multicolors. In my opinion, Jordan Brand did a really good job with transferring the color blocking from the seven to the sixes. So I'm not mad at all. If I can get this thing undone. And also on the lace lock, you are gonna have that red Jumpman emblem. Uh, the tongue, the tongue, the top of the tongue is gonna be like that, a translucent material. And underneath it, you're gonna see like that hair pattern, that yellow, that green, that black. And on the tongue is gonna have Jordan imprinted on that translucent tongue. So the details of the shoe is pretty good. Also, moving back to the heel of the shoe, it's gonna have that heel pull tab. It's gonna be black with like that red, it's gonna be black with like that red stripe on it. So, like I said, overall, man, it's, it's a simple shoe. Moving on to the outsole of the shoe. The outsole of the shoe is gonna have like the multicolor, it's gonna be consistent of that true red color. You're gonna have the white in the middle and it's gonna have like that purple Jumpman emblem. And on the, the rear of the outsole, you're gonna have that green color. So moving on to the inside, it's gonna come stuff with your standard cardboard shoe. Insert, and... <clears throat> on the inside, again, you're gonna have that multi, that you're gonna have that hair multicolor pattern with the white Jumpman emblem. And as you can see, these are men's size 11. So the shoe, like I said, the shoe is really simple. It's a clean colorway. I like it. I know a lot of people want to fence about it, but hey, as a shoe, you know, as a sneakerhead, buy what you like. Don't buy what other people like. Don't go with the hype. Go with the stuff that you like, and I promise you, you'll love it. So, there you have it. You're looking at the 2020 release of the Air Jordan 6s in the hair colorway. I'm excited, man. I can't wait to put these on. As a matter of fact, I'm going to throw these on foot real quick. I'm going to do a quick on foot video because I want to see how they look. All right, let's go. Alright family, so hey, I don't know about y'all man, but I am digging the hair sixes. So do me a huge favor, man. Comment down below. Let me know what you think of the kicks. If you were able to get a W today on release day, drop a comment, let me know. Like this video, subscribe to the channel, and as always, I'm gonna see you on the next come up. We out. Mm -hmm.